Hey, so today we're going to talk about place value. All right, so you should have a piece of loose leaf paper in front of you. And this is loose leaf paper. I don't know why they call it that. But this was called loose leaf. And it has the blue lines and the red line. And right at the top here, we are going to put a title. So I want everybody to write down place value. Maybe you can even use better handwriting than me. And then at the top of the paper in the corner, put your name. So I'll put Mr. Field. And then underneath that, you could put the date. So I'm going to put April 10th, 4 slash 10 slash 2022, so I'll put a 22. Every time you take out a new piece of paper, put the title, your name, and the date. So we're going to look at three assignments here. The first one, and they all come from the place value section. The first one is going to be place value blocks. So here are place value blocks. You see they look different. They can be a square, a line, or a little square. So on our paper, we're going to write place value blocks. Have you ever seen place value blocks? And take your time and make sure you write in between the blue lines, nice and neat, as nice as you can. All right, so the place value blocks, there's three different kinds. Draw a square, big square, and then draw a rectangle, and then draw a little square like that. It only goes halfway up to the blue line. Okay, so this is not to scale. But when we see this big square, well, actually, let's start with the little square. The little square represents one. And the rectangle represents 10. And the big square represents 100. And why is that? Because this little square, when we look at the rectangle, there's 10 little squares in the rectangle. And when we look at the big square, there's 100 little squares in that. You can see if you counted all these little squares in this big square, there'd be a hundred of them. Go ahead and try it. And then if you count the squares in this rectangle, you'd count 10. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. See? So what we got to do is we got to count all the place value blocks together and see how much what number that is. So because there's two big squares, we're gonna put a two in the hundreds place. How many rectangles are there? One, two, three. So we're gonna put a three in the tens place. And how many little squares are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna put a nine in the ones place. So this number is 200, 239. Go ahead and try B right here. How many big squares can you count? I just counted nine. So I'm gonna put a nine in the hundreds place. I see two rectangles, so I'll put a two in the tens place, and I see three little squares. So this is the number 923. So that's how place value blocks work. So I'm just gonna go ahead, since I'm on a computer, I can take a screenshot. I'm gonna put it right on our paper. I know that's cheating a little bit, but you might wanna take some time and write it down. You know what? I'm not gonna cheat. No, 
we're going to do is we're going to write it out. <clears throat> so let's do that first one on our paper. So we'll draw two big squares because that was the number 239. And then we'll draw three rectangles. Let's not use the number 239. Let's use the new number 234 for our example. This is our example, and we can make it any number we want. So let's make it 234. So we're going to write equals 234. OK, so all together, if we counted all the little squares here, there would be 234. So let's see which number they want us to find. They want the number 923. Hey, we figured that out. That was the second one. So we're going to press that. There we go. So that's place value blocks. And so now go ahead and try this assignment. And then we'll see if you can get 100. But if you can't, we'll go over any questions you got wrong.